What is up legends? We have tested out in this channel the previous two primary weapons that were just released with the new cutting edge warbond, the laser sickle rifle as well as the plasma shotgun. But today we're going to be testing out the new arc shotgun that supposedly works kind of like an arc thrower. So I'm really curious to test this out as the arc thrower is currently my favorite support weapon. Bringing in here the usual orbital rail cannon as well as the 500 kilo the shoot generator pack and the uh, arc thrower of course as well as the stamina enhancement uh, we're also equipped with the senator secondary i heard it's a pretty decent combination with this arc thrower primary so we're going to be testing this loadout out on this helldiver difficulty game so we're going to be calling here the arc thrower as well as the shield generator pack and we got a or mission type um i generally prefer to do the egg missions but um this is my second take i did try this weapon out uh, on one of those egg missions and it did not go very well the shotgun is not very good at clearing those eggs oh we got two stalkers already oh shit all right Not a great, not a great start. Wow. How many shots does it take to kill a stalker with this shotgun? I'm just gonna arc thrower him. This is insane. All right, well, that, that was not uh, a great look. Terminate illegal broadcast. I didn't do anything. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm gonna be using the arc thrower here just to clear out this charger back here so this shotgun fires quite slowly and it functions kind of like the arc thrower what concerns me a little bit is um the fire rate's not that great um but i mean it does make it up for having unlimited ammo oh that rock did not stop that charger Try to get some distance here. So you kind of have to do some dancing around with the shotgun. It fires far too slow for you to uh, get rid of masses. Um, I'll admit, I'm, I'm so far I'm not very impressed by the weapon. It does one hit these small bugs, but from this range, it seems to struggle. As you just see there, that hunter survived with that shot. These stalkers do not die to the shotgun. It's quite weak against them. Let's try. Okay, well, I shot him a couple of times with the senator. Kind of want to test out a full health stalker. There's a stalker right here. Let's see. One shot. Two shots. Oh, didn't get the third out. That's not good. Oh. oh. I don't think that hit him. I'm just going to pull the senator out. Okay. It's um a bit questionable for um, a solo player. Um, what I am a little bit concerned about this weapon is... Uh, I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you what this uh, shotgun kind of feels like. It kind of feels like the developers were like, what about if we make an arc thrower weapon except everything that the arc thrower does it'll just do it worse that's what it's <laughs> that's what it looks like when they were making this weapon the damage is uh very underwhelming fire rate uh it's about a second in between each shot um as i said this is my second take the first game I did, uh, I did not manage to complete the objectives. And uh, I'll tell you, one big issue that I was... Get all out of here. One big issue that I was coming across with this shotgun is... Since it fires so, so slow, and it doesn't actually do that much damage, what actually ended up happening is I would kind of get stuck in infinite reinforcement loops. Because it would just take that long to kill a group. You know, staying alive 
isn't the issue. Let me get some distance here. Let me see if I can kind of show this. Each shot will get maybe one kill. If you're lucky, you'll get two. Even though it's supposed to kind of... Okay, got those stalkers down. Even though it's kind of supposed to arc and get multiple enemies, you'll be fairly lucky to get multiple enemies with it. As I was saying in the previous game, one issue that I was coming across a lot is that uh, the weapon actually kills so slowly and shoots so slowly that by the time I could actually properly handle groups, another reinforcement group would already be spawning. Because it's just that slow. Look how long this is going to take to clear out this little group here. This is a small, small group. Still alive. And there's the group. That was like five enemies. It took me quite longer than I needed to. Uh, the problem is, you know, in the beginning of the game like this, it's not much of an issue. The issue starts to come as the game progresses, as you do objectives and things like that. Then, you know, you come across a lot larger groups. And, you know, when you got chargers involved and you got bio titans involved and you got more frequent patrols as a solo player on the maximum difficulty, it ends up happening that they actually spawn much more often than you, you can even deal with them. That's what I'm kind of struggling here with the shotgun. I don't think it's going to be uh, ideal for a solo player. As a group player, I can definitely see a place for this shotgun. But again, I'll say it, it just kind of feels like the developers kind of sat on a table and were like, what if we just make a really shitty arc thrower as a primary weapon? You know, it, it's kind of like a, a weak prime thrower. That, that's really what this shotgun is. If you bring in the Arc Thrower, there's literally zero reason for you to ever use this primary. Because everything the shotgun can do, the Arc Thrower does better. It does more damage, it's got more range, it arcs to more enemies, it's got the same amount of infinite ammo, it shoots way faster, so it's literally just everything this shotgun can do, but a lot better. As you can see here, look at the difference. If I were taking this group out with an arc thrower, it would be a whole different story. Ooh, it turned kind of dark. Oh, we got one of those Firestorm maps. That's right. Pretty cool. I actually kind of like these. They're, they're a bit annoying at times if they kind of stand on top of like an objective, lighting everything on fire. But they actually help you out quite a bit. I mean, most of these world effects, they actually kind of more help you out than actually hurt you. So, it's generally quite useful. Oh, there's a stalker. How many shots is taken? Still alive. Say hello to democracy. Five shots? That's rough. It's quite rough. Breaker will have that stalker down in like oh, like a second. <laughs> this takes like five, six seconds to kill or more. That's rough. And if I didn't have shield, that stalker would absolutely eat my butt alive, dude. But I'm not, here's the thing. I'm not complaining about this weapon. I just think for a, a solo player, it's not going to be a feasible choice. It's not going to be a good choice for you to Dropping go with. I'm pretty sure the stalker layer is going to be right here, by the way. Kind of get used to what they look like on the map. And I'm pretty sure... Yep, this is one of them. Enemy tactical asset within range. Enter wasn't a great choice either. <laughs> How about it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But to make up for the uh, lack of damage I have with this shotgun, I would have been better off with the re Redeemer. 
But yeah, maybe for group players, let me know what you guys think. When you use this weapon in group play, is it any good? If, you, if you've used it, is it any good? Again, I, I just don't see a reason to use this over the Arc Thrower. I'd rather just equip the Arc Thrower if I want something that can do what the Arc Thrower can do. It kind of makes no sense to, uh, to me to bring this weapon in over the Arc Thrower. And one big issue for me is, as a solo player, generally, what I like my primary weapon to do is to be able to effectively deal with hunters. Okay, yeah, this does not reach there. <clears throat> I need a weapon that can effectively deal with hunters. That's my primary worry when I'm when I'm equipping myself with a you know primary weapon. Sadly, this weapon is not effective at doing that. It fires far too slow. Oh, hard I struggle to even get rid of a small group. It feels like more of a support weapon type deal. Okay, that 500 kilo should definitely take out that Bio Titan. Nope, nope. No, not at all. God dang it. Wasted two stratagems. I'm gonna have to waste another 500 kilo here to take this guy out. I forgot we have the delayed stratagem. That should get him. Yeah, that got him. Thanks to the orbital rail cannon, that got him. Or else that wouldn't have gotten him because that wasn't really perfect landing. Yesterday we used the Laser 16 Sickle, the primary weapon, and I, I personally did really, really enjoy that weapon. I do genuinely think it might be one of my primary weapons to use, and I'm going to be using it on Tomaton planets. I'm going to be testing it out. I am not going to risk it here by using the primary weapon. I'll just use its better version, the Arc Thrower. <laughs> Goes quite a, quite a bit as well against hive guards. It takes about three to four shots. At least it can handle hive guards. And another worry of mine is I actually saw a video that was like reviewing these uh, these weapons from this war bond, and uh, this guy analyzed it against the automaton. Well, not analyzed, but you know had some gameplay against the automatons. Oh shit. Ooh, just killed myself there. He had some gameplay against the automatons, and it's even worse than this. Against the automatons, it's even worse. Okay, this is exactly the type of situation that I was saying it can get annoying with the firestorms, <laughs> fire tornadoes. Just standing on top of the objective, and I can't even reach it. Just have to sit here and let bug patrols respawn. Yeah, this weapon against the automatons, apparently it's even worse than what it is here for the bugs. Again, it's probably not bad against the bugs if you're playing in a group as kind of like a support fire type deal. But yeah, for a solo player, it's not uh, it's not going to be ideal. Oh, when did these fire tornadoes stop? It feels like I'm burning for like five minutes. I'm going to end up killing myself here. Jeez, dude, there's five of them. It's crazy. They probably kind of lean towards you, don't they? Or maybe they just lean into the objectives. Wow, there is literally five of them there. Gotta wait that out a little bit, I guess. Sometimes it kind of looks like there's like some space there without fire, but... It counts as fire damage. You know, now that they released this um, arc resistance uh, war bond, it'd be kind of cool if they re released something related to fire as well. 
I would I would absolutely love that. An armor that actually allows you to resist fire? That'd be sick. Flamethrower would definitely Oh shit. Flamethrower would definitely get a bit of a bump there. Dude, the fire is still here. <laughs> How long did these last? Jesus. Okay, I think it just stopped. Okay, now we just kind of got to wait for this fire to go away. But this weapon is not all bad. It's, it's actually like really comfortable to use it. You know, it having like infinite ammo and, and such, it's actually really comfortable to use and it you can pretty effectively like shoot, run a little bit, shoot, run a little bit, shoot, run a little bit. So it's pretty good at like kiting as you're kind of handling the bugs. Um, I just think it, it kind of deals with enemies a little bit too slow for it to be a proper viable weapon for for my playstyle anyways for solo playstyle again i can only speak for solo players you know when i complain about a weapon or say it's not good i'm not saying it's not good overall it's just not good in my realm of gameplays i guess i should say see i'm trying to use it to clear out like groups but it's just painful i guess i could just kite and shoot kite and shoot but i feel like this weapon will be really good for console players there's that because i know for console players it is a little bit harder for you guys to aim you don't have the same advantage that we have on computer from what i've seen i don't think this game has uh what is that glitch? I don't think this game has any aim assist, right? If someone can confirm me that, I'm, I'm, I could be talking out of my ass. But I, yeah, this weapon could be pretty decent for console players because it, it, it can make your life a lot easier. You don't need to aim at them at all. You just kind of blindly shoot them. It is fairly slow. Look at this. You see, I'm, I took so long handling that group that we got another group. So I'm just going to pull out the Arcthrower. How much faster that? There you go. That was the group. Arcthrower takes it out in like a second. But it is a comfortable choice. It's definitely a comfortable choice. Mess that up. By the way, to do this, somebody was asking me how to do this. Just hold down your sprint button as you're carrying the missile then let go of the missile and your character will automatically sprint and then you click the pickup button again as you just run over the missile that's how you juggle these make your life a lot easier i actually learned from you guys yet another thing that i learned from my comment section i've literally learned so much from like the comment section it's unbelievable Okay, so we've done one Stalker Nest, one CF Artillery, no, two Stalker's Nest, one CF Artillery. The game got rid of the broadcast for me, I didn't have to do anything. Uh, so we possibly got one more objective. Or rather, side objective. Also, this game, I'm going to be trying something different. Usually, I wait until the uh, extraction timer runs out. But this game, I won't be doing that. I want to test something that somebody mentioned in the comment section. Once again. That you can kind of just call in for the extraction and just kind of prone and hide. <laughs> I want to test that out. Sounds silly, but I've never actually tried it. Every time I call it, I just take all the fights I can, but I'm gonna try this, this game. See if hiding works.
I know aiming doesn't really matter with these weapons, but I feel like when I perfectly aim at them, it like hits them harder. I don't know if that makes sense. How long it takes to get rid of these groups. He doesn't reach that hunter. That's an issue. So this is what I was talking about, right? Freedom Wanting forever. a weapon that can effectively clear the hunters. In this situation, I'm fine because I'm having a lot of space to run around. But they it killing this slowly is not ideal. Oh shit. Get some! Get some! Ah! Okay, it's gonna take ages against hive guards. Alright, so that's pretty much how long that took. Quite a while. It does have that advantage of kiting though. I feel like this is probably the most effective kiting weapon I've used. It's so easy to kite with it because it's got like a, a tremendous stagger as well. And that's something I, I didn't mention. That is one upside it has. It has a really good stagger. It shoots really slow. The damage is really garbage, but it does have a lot of stagger. So as you kind of kite and shoot, you're constantly like stunning the enemy in place which makes for hiding the enemy very very easy i do think a lot of people are going to enjoy this weapon it's not going to be for me for my playstyle, but i can definitely see a lot of people enjoying this i just think the arc thrower does everything it does but better and since the arc thrower is currently my support weapon of choice, I don't see a space for this shotgun. Even if the flamethrower was my support weapon of choice, it still wouldn't be my, my ideal pick. To be honest. Got a bug breach. I think if I call, will it call a second bug breach here? Or will it just not call a bug breach since there's already one active? Okay. Uh, yeah, it just called another bug breach. I was kind of curious because I, I was wondering if bug breaches could stack on each other. Like, I, I wasn't sure of that. But yes, they can. Bug breaches do stack on each other. We got two bug breaches here. So the Arc Thrower may not be able to sprint. Backpedaling and, and getting rid of them. Quite decent enough. Fire tornadoes again. All right, let's see if I can complete this mission before, before the fire tornadoes start coming in. Three. Sending down equipment package. I just realized the extraction is going to be a bit tougher because we have the delayed stratagem uh, uses. It's like 100% longer, which means the extraction, instead of taking two minutes to arrive, it takes four. Are we actually going to be able to hide for four straight minutes? I'm not sure. I like how that fire is lighting the water on fire. <laughs> The 
When people ask me why I kill like North most East. things Far. I see, most enemies I see. Honestly, I just like shooting shit, man. That's literally it. I also think it can make the game a bit easier for just not, you know, for minimizing the threat around me by killing them first before they come at me, you know, like proactively taking them out. I don't know how effective it is, but mostly I just I just like action, dude. I just like to get in, you know, in-game fights. Is why I also don't really play uh, stealth, which is also why I play. I don't play as much automatons. Usually against automatons, you will be better off for playing stealth. But I've never really been in much much of a stealth gamer. I've been more of a front door rushing gamer. <laughs> Someone also asked uh, how I got the uh, aim that I got, which I, I don't think my aim is that great. I feel like I'm pretty old now. My aim is kind of shit, but I used to play Counter-Strike for since uh, 2004. I used to play Counter-Strike Source. Dropping a pin. Okay, this North. is definitely another stalker layer, by the way. Uh, I used to play Counter-Strike Source in 2004 all the way until CSGO in 2011, 2012. And then I played that until 2018. So I played Counter-Strike for 14 years. Uh, always in like, you know, online competitions and shit. And I guess that's where I got the aim that I got. Enemy tactical asset within I also used to play Counter-Strike as what they call uh, an entry fragger. Is the, the first person in the, the sites, you know, the bomb sites just getting in there and getting as much action as possible right away and yeah that was pretty much my role in counter-strike as well which is probably where i got this uh habit of just playing hyper aggressive and just fighting everything i see it's to me it's more fun always has been Main objective nearby. and this map is so red but this looks quite cool look at that that looks amazing dude i don't dig how red this map is but it does have great visuals. Hopefully it's not too hard for you guys to see. The other day I played a map that was like kind of dark. And I had some people in the comment section saying that it was a bit too dark for them to watch. It wasn't, it wasn't that, you know, that great to watch the video, I guess I should say, because it was too dark. So hopefully this one's not <laughs> too dark or too red for you guys. It definitely is too red for me. My monitor's got the vibrance turned out, turned up, which is like the contrast. So the screen is really red. It's rough, too red for my taste. But hey, we gotta clear Hellmire, man. We gotta clear it. That freaking thing really just. Oh no! Oh no! Try to be slick. Oh shit, and the bug reach just came too. Point me to the enemy. Oh, okay, we're good. We recovered. Tried to be slick there by pressing the button inside the fire, but that didn't work out. Oh god. Oh, shit, the bile. Okay, he missed it. Okay, gonna hit him with the rail cannon. Onto a 500 kilo. I think that should land, right? Yeah, that's gonna land. He stopped to just feel the bile. He's gonna get him. Damn, nice. Okay. Finish out the wave.
Okay, we should do it. Dude, now that I just said this map is really red, now it feels even more so. Why is it so red? Got a group of uh, stalkers here, I think. Threw that 500 kilo, but I'm wondering now if that was a good idea, because if a Biles Titan spawns... Ow. And that killed a lot, though. So that's nice. Yeah, this rock should do it. Get rid of the little cracks first. Oh, okay, the charger died. He was bleeding out. Such a powerful weapon. Holy crap. Oh, we got a Bile Titan right next to us. Just standing there. You good, bro? we have the artillery this is the high yield one i'm pretty sure i put in second yeah it is the high yield let me try to stop on on top of it wow okay that was really lucky that was incredibly lucky because my shield was on full uh full shield so it actually protects you entirely from the explosion so that really saved my ass. Also, the CF artillery is glitched with uh, with the stratagem delay, which is why the timing was off there for me, as you will see. You see, it still says inbound. If you go back in the video, there five seconds. It says inbound five seconds, and then the missile gets shot. So it's not uh, working properly. I forgot about that, which is why I almost got killed. Okay. Got too distracted speaking there. My bad. Should be able to land on him though. Oh no, that put my hell pot so far away. Okay, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this guy. If the artillery is gonna do it, I'm gonna try to finish off this mission first. Problem is, by finishing off that mission, I now made the game spawn more patrols. I should be able to handle him with this 500 kilo. Come on. Come over here, buddy. Gonna stand over here so he kind of stops in place. There he goes. Bam. Use this weapon a little bit more. run back. Forgot I didn't have the shield there. Run back, grab my stuff. I gotta get my samples as well. I will be attempting to extract this game. Alright, so we got seven minutes. Uh, I am not, like I said before, I'm not gonna wait around this time. I'm actually going to be testing something out. Run back to the extraction point. Attacking map. Southwest. and call in Far. for the extraction and then we're gonna prone and hide and see if that works out whoever it was that said it in my last video to try this out better be right <laughs> no honestly though i am really curious what's gonna happen aren't they just like gonna walk over me and just spot me anyways I don't know. Let's see. I think I'm just going to sprint there. All the way. Oh, no. Let's see if uh might do this here to kind of get that uh, beacon right there. Oh, that just spawned. Yeah, they were going to see me anyway, so I'm just going to try to... We'll actively get rid of them first. What I'm worried about is I think I got people behind me, enemies behind me. Huh? Two, three, four. 
five. Remember guys, it's six shots to the charger's face for an arc thrower kill. I do always keep that in mind. It's gonna help you out a lot dealing with chargers. Also, I, I guess I should mention, some people were asking how my arc thrower shoots so fast. After the first shot, you don't have to charge your arc thrower fully anymore. You can just charge it about like 60% and then you can release the button. It'll be, it'll be fine. I don't quite understand how it works though. So much so that I'm wondering if it's even intended. If it's not intended, they're going to eventually get rid of it, which will nerf the arc thrower quite a bit. I still think it'll be the best choice, but... Got another Bile Titan, but he's not coming over here. I'm just going to go grab this beacon here, and then we'll make our way to the extraction zone. Oh, it's just a rare sample. I wish it was metals. Metals is the best one in my opinion. Alright, let's try this out. Call it. And I'm gonna hide. In the bushes. Well, there isn't bushes in this map, so I guess in the sand. I don't think I've ever actually attempted to play stealth in this game before. Right, um, so I'm gonna start this and I'm gonna go over there. So let me break this door, well, not door, but wall. All right, let's run to the edge here and then we're gonna prone. <laughs> Where is the edge? Okay, that's the edge. Is this okay? So I'm gonna prone right about here, maybe up here on this rock. All right, we got four minutes to stay alive. I wonder if this is gonna work out. God damn it! Problem is, they're all gonna come here to the extraction zone. But I wonder if they're gonna go around searching for me if they're gonna stand still. So far, so good. All going to the extraction point. Oh, see people under us. Crap. Okay, let me. Pivot. Yeah, I see a little bug there coming down. Oh god. Alright, it's nerve wrecking. I feel like I get less nervous in combat than I do doing this. Okay, is that good enough? Get behind this rock, or is it too far? Too far. <laughs> oh my god. How am I gonna make it back to the ship, though? Oh god. There is so many of them. Even if they spot me, I'm so freaking dead. Did I keep moving? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh wow, they really don't see you, huh? What the hell? The stealth is a lot stronger than I thought. I was so sure he was gonna see me there. What the hell? Okay, we got another patrol group there. Not sure where, which direction they're gonna go, so I think I'm gonna try to make my way back to that little rock I was initially at. Oh god, this is working. If we had the if we didn't have the delayed stratagem, oh my god, we got two bio titans in there. If we didn't have the delayed stratagem, the ship would already be here. Come on, Pelican one. Hurry up. Yo, this actually this is not doing too bad. Uh oh. That bug coming here? Oh shit, it's coming here. Oh god. Oh, but they're looking directly at me this time, aren't they? Oh god. Oh 
Yo, this is. I think this is working. Uh oh. Where are you going? Oh no. Oh no. They don't. They don't see me. Are they leaving the extraction point? What the f Thirty seconds. Dude, I am so nervous. It's so much scarier than fighting them. Now we don't even have reinforcements, so if they catch me once, oh god. Go on this side of the rock. God. Oh shit, we have fire tornadoes as well. I didn't even realize that. One of these come over to me, I'm freaking dead. I might have to get up and they're gonna see me. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh no, this is gonna spot me. Okay. Did, did he spot me? Yeah, this one spotted me. Okay, I'm gonna make a run for it. Oh shit, go, 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 go. Go. Oh my god. Yes! It worked! It actually worked! How did that work? Yo, stealth is. Yo, that. That is something. <laughs> Yo, I actually did not think that would work. Whoever said that in the previous video, <laughs> thank you. I guess we got another strategy to <laughs> to uh, extract effectively, I guess. Alright, so that was all the main objectives, all the optional objectives with the new shotgun so yeah i don't think the shotgun is gonna be a great choice for solo players it shoots a little bit too slow it does far too little damage i just think the arc thrower is literally that shotgun but better in every single way so there is no reason to use that if the arc thrower is currently you know my support weapon of choice so let me know what you guys think about the shotgun let me know if you found any cool tricks about it, like the one with the plasma shotgun that's actually effective at dealing with chargers. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Let's just see how many kills that game was. Oh, only 543. That's cool. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.